So it's roughly 10 minutes to 4 in the morning. The Lord has woken me up early around 3 so that I could spend a little time working. A truck by a performance company that maybe saw me yesterday across the street, hard to say, but I doubt it, drove up and parked himself down by the city bank, or the city trends company. That's two stores over from where I'm sitting at the present moment. Uh, without shelter, but an overhang of the building. And I'm working on responding to a potential opportunity and friendship in the way that we do. And the person walks up to me, tries to hand me a honey bun, not the type that I would eat, and owes me some money. I keep saying no to him, but I have received the item, and it's awkward because I am instructed to not reject people by the Lord, but at the same time, I am in need of funds. I don't like the play of law enforcement officers that want to pretend to be things in front of the house of God. It's a form of abuse. How did that man know I was here? Did he see me when he was delivering food to one of the restaurants? Did he feel compassion for someone who is in homelessness? Or is he really a law enforcement officer borrowing someone's truck to drive in on for abuse? As many times as I said no, I didn't have my shoes on, so I really didn't want to walk in wet feet or socks across a wet, damp parking lot from the rain. And literally, I don't like when people try to insist like this. I don't like that I feel put upon to say no to things and food because someone's trying to play a game of Will he receive the food if I put money underneath it? I don't like that because nobody wants somebody else's chosen food for them. It's a power play. The illegalness of the lies that people tell is I'm in power and I'm going to demand, regardless of your principles and the way that you are passionate about refusing food, to make you accept this food. Sure, I'll feed it to a duck, but if it kills that duck, I'm going to fucking come after you in the spirit world. What I mean by that is I do pray against the hellish people who like to lie to themselves about who they are to me. If that gentleman had come up and said something different in self-introduction and less evil in his eyes, then I might have felt differently. But there are men who want to pay for what they think they can take. A lying police officer is selling an idea to his people that if they pay me money, then they can cut my beard. And the answer is no, they can't. But who put that out there other than a lying black police officer who paid me a paltry $2? But this morning I wake and find that something I've made that was in my bags is missing. Now that truck was too far away and too situated because they know I take plates because of the illegalness of their hands in my thing. And he was too far away for me to see his plate beyond his company. I did know that there was a truck delivering food around the community because I heard it, but I don't usually pay attention that long because that is natural at this time in the morning. But when people have the rights to refuse food, it shouldn't be a, you will take all of this from me. It should be more of a, hello, it looks like you might be in struggle. I'm wondering if one of these items might be helpful to you. But they lie to themselves about what they want to do. And I promise you, if that man comes into my tent or approaches me in any way later today, I will allow God to kill his life hell-bent.